dear friends welcome back into my another lecture uh, we are discussing the model question paper uh, in this video i will discuss about uh, the two way anova problem set up an analysis of variance table for the following two way design results per acre production data of wheat in meter tons so this is the data is uh, given over here okay so varieties of fertilizers and varieties of seeds the data is uh, given over here okay so see uh, also state whether variety differences are significant at 5% level given that f2 comma 6 is equal to 5.14 and f at 3 comma 6 is equal to 4.76 okay so main difference of uh, one way and two way ANOVA is uh, just uh, we were uh, summing up column wise in the one one way ANOVA or sometimes row wise okay but in the two way ANOVA you have to sum the terms both column wise and row wise okay that is the major difference between the one way and two way ANOVA and also if in problem there is only one F ratio given that is also a one way ANOVA problem and in if in the problem two F ratios are given that is the two way ANOVA problem okay so uh, that is how you can consider uh, the problem is one way or two way so just make the given box add as it is okay now some of the terms column sorry row wise and column wise so 6 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 16 7 plus 5 is 12 plus 4 is 16 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9 8 plus 7 is uh, 15 plus 4 is 19 right so now column wise sum up 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 3 is uh, 16 plus 8 is 24 likewise you will just sum up you will get this term likewise you will just sum up you will get 16 over here okay then take the squares of it 16 square is 256 256 9 square is 81 19 square is 361 take this square is also 24 square is 576 and 20 square is 400 this is your 256 when you just sum up this t over here you will get 60 also column wise you will get 60 over here okay so i hope up to this it, it is clear <clears throat> now you have to take the squares 6 square is 36 5 square is 25 25 7 square is 49 likewise 25 16 you have to take the sum of squares okay so when you just sum up you will get 158 when you just sum up these terms you will get 108 when you just sum up these terms you will get 66 so total overall will be 332 value okay now as usual whatever the formulas we were using so correction factor is equal to t i square by n which is equal to what is the t value we have calculated here that is your 60 okay this is your ti total so 60 square divided by total number of observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 okay divided by 12 which is equal to 300 then sum of squares of column wise okay see here i have calculated these values 24 20 16 so it is given by ti square by n so let me tell you here the formula first so this is ti square divided by small n minus correction factor so 24 square plus 20 square plus 16 square divided by small n is nothing but four over here see here these are the one two three four varieties of fertilizers right so this is the sum of squares of column wise and the sum of squares of row wise which is equal to see here this is row wise 16 square plus 16 square plus 9 square plus 19 square divided by total number of columns that is your three columns are there right so okay uh, this is your uh, sum of squares of row wise so when is, once you will calculate it so there is a formula first of all i will write also here that is what ti square by small n sorry here is pi we are taking this one this one we are taking okay pi square divided by n minus correction factor that is what i have written over here so once you are calculating this much you will get uh, 18 over here ssr and this is sum of squares of columns is equal to eight over here okay now sum of squares due to error it is always equal to tss minus ssc plus ssr here we are just summing both uh, columns and rows over here okay that is why i have taken the summation of this much so tss we have to calculate so it is given by summation of xij minus uh, correction factor so summation of xij we have already calculated that is 332 minus correction factor already calculated 300 you will get tss is equal to 32 so here uh, TSS is equal to 32 minus SSC is 8 plus SSR is 18 you will get uh, 32 minus 26 that is 6 okay this is your sum of squares due to error now make the ANOVA table two way ANOVA table this is your source of variation degrees of freedom sum of squares mean sum of squares and F ratio right now between columns between rows and error so what is the degree of freedom between the columns that is your formula is already K minus 1 or sometimes C minus 1 okay 
that is column minus one how many columns are there in the problem that is three so one two three columns are there three minus one is two and between rows how many rows are there one two three four so four minus one c minus sorry r minus one which is uh, equal to four minus one is three right then uh, for the error it is equal to c minus one r minus one column minus one how many columns three three minus one is two row rows are four four minus one is three so two into three is six right sum of squares we have already calculated between columns between columns see here eight value is there and between rows is 18 okay and sum of uh, squares due to error is six value so i am taking it over here now mean sum of squares is ss divided by degree of freedom 8 divided by 2 so that is 4 so 18 divided by 3 that is 6 and 6 divided by 6 is 1 so, and how you are taking the f ratio maximum divided by minimum so this is your 4 and minimum is error okay 4 divided by 1 is 4 this is your 1 f ratio f1 is equal to this much okay and your second f 6 divided by 1 so this is your f2 okay so in the question itself it is mentioned that f at 2 comma 6 see here degree of freedom is 2 for this one and for error is 6 so this is your f 2 comma 6 is uh, 4 so it is obviously 4 is less than 5.14 therefore you can conclude that or uh, hypothesis is accepted in this particular case now in second case this is your f 3 comma 6 this is your degree of freedom and this is your uh, degree of freedom for error so this is your f of 3 comma 6 it is equal to 6 by 1 which is equal to 6 it is greater than this particular number that is your 4.76 so 6 is greater than 4.76 in second case the hypothesis will be rejected so this much is the answer for this particular problem i hope you have understood this problem very well if you have some doubts you can ask in the comment section i wish you all the best for your examinations thank you